In today's video, I'll be showing you all my best Silent Heart support PvE build that I use my friends to shred our way to wave 50 of the Duluvian on our first attempt. This build is only one piece of a larger puzzle, however, as it is a part of a larger 5-man team of coordinated builds on our channel that synergize together to create the most efficient mob melting machine in modern Deep Broken. I myself serve two roles in our team, single target and support, where it's my job to lead priority targets like Scubbos and lending into monsters while also keeping everyone alive valve mastery and food buffs. I'm able to do all of this while still being a complete tank with reinforced armor, charisma, and sound heart as well. This build seriously has it all, so make sure you guys subscribe for more stuff like this and join Discord for the build maker link. Anyways, let's not waste any more time and go straight into the stats. Hopping straight into the build maker, for race, you can go anything you really want. Personally, I had a Capra, so I went Capra for the healing mark. Murmur, Art of Posture Damage. Bell, go for Run It Back, Sacred Fields, or Counter, your choice. For the Oath, Sour Heart, obviously. Your Origin is going to be Deep Bound, it's by far the best PvE. Outfit, it's Color Condition Deep Delver. The talent is extremely useful, and after you finish the event, definitely switch to Saltorian Tide Knight. That talent is absurd for this event. Uh, starting stats, you want to go 5 Fortitude and 10 Willpower. And then immediately off the bat, rush 30 Willpower and 50 Fortitude. From here, straight up to 90. And then to 40 Intelligence for overflowing dam. Invest your points in 1 Strength, 1 Karaz, 1 Heavy for Strand of Order. Do so. For me, it's pretty simple. Go straight up to 75 for all the good Chris talents. And then from there, you can just hit your oath requirements. Raise this back to 20 for charge return. 25 for the cooking talents. And the rest goes into weapon mastery. Now, you see here, I still have 5 points left. Personally, I put those into charisma. Having 80 gives you one more valve mastery slot. But if you don't care about that, just put it back into heavy. Uh, traits. Obviously, 6 vitality, 6 proficiency. Health, damage is all we care about in this build. Boons and Floors. Scrap makes progression much easier. Pack Mule just makes it's quality of life. Floors, simple, and then from, from a Shrine of Order. Um, Glutton, Manic, Squeamish, anything really works here. Yeah. Heading over to Talent. Talents, we are Silent Heart, so it's not a huge deal. You get so many talents in this build that you'll get everything almost guaranteed. But go over the basics, obviously you want RA, Command Live, Offling Dam is great, Wyvern Claws, Carnivore is essential, Regalia is nice, Fishman, just generally tank talents, more damage, self healing, loose kit bucket is free, uh, Dark Ages is good for reducing team damage, like get hit by teammates, it's basically free, Golden Tongue for some E for all damage buff, why not, free health, and free health. On the comments, common stuff like Giant Slayer is nice. Obviously, you want almost everything in this tree. Chaotic Charm is great. Tough Love's great. Heavy Hitter is extremely good on this build. Dealing a posture damage is way more valuable than you think. Uh, give and take, get more reduced team damage. Nullifying and charge turn. They proc sometimes. It's getting this, it's just free damage. Uproar, good safety talent. Combat Kid, good safety talent. Uh, more health from Reading Exercise and more Sandy back from Cocky or Fears. Just because why not, right? Pick up Armor Conserver, again it's very free. I am using Immortality Helmet, so you will probably be getting this talent. Personally, I would... This was costly, they're extremely close, just pick whatever one you prefer. Plushing Knockout, Steel Scales, more damage resistance. Uh, Turtle Shell, extremely useful for reducing damage, like you can get hit in the back. Theatrix is extremely essential here as well, so it's your only way to proc charm reliably. More, again, more free damage. Manipulator, more crit damage when combined with Theatrix. Um, the Chef Talents, fantastic. You make your buffs even stronger when you give them to your teammates. It is a little annoying to get, but I would recommend it. And lastly, for the Essential Talents, War is a String, take less damage when Hyper Armor. And you'll see here, we only have 52 out of 74. So you can just kind of go with whatever you want from here, whatever you think you want, or just like. I mean, personally, I have nothing else to get. But like on my build, but if you find something, then just go for it. Uh, weapon, I'm using a freestyle damage in Forces Hammer. Um, the reason I'm not using an axe 
effect because there are stone knights and golems during this event who have extreme resistance to slash damage which the axe does deal. So having the hammer, which is only a little bit less damage compared to the axe, is extremely useful for those targets in particular. Uh, optimally you want astral as your enchant. I'm using storm, don't use storm I'm using it because it looks really nice. If you can't get astral, go for either vampirism or like under the night, doesn't really matter. Rings, very high charisma, so recommend this definitely. Intelligence and then strength, all very nice. Final ring, it, it's whatever. I use Congress Clutch Ring, it's free. And yeah, that's the um, entire build. Now that we're done actually looking at the stats, let's talk about how to play the build for a minute. Being a Sanha, it's pretty simple. Spam on one, spam your critical on enforcers, humanoids, and squibbos. And use Money Carti for iframes and teleportation, and your vent for the same reason. As for the support element, Valve Mastery is extremely useful in the new event. Um, all fight for difficult rounds is an absolutely free damage boost for all your teammates. All return is extremely useful for getting infinite combo by lightning attuned mobs. And obviously all live is a incredible life saver for your teammates as you can see in this clip here. Yo, I'm getting fucking stunned. Yo, I'm gonna die! All live, all live, all live, all live, all live, all live. Just all live me, 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 me. Thank you. And yeah, aside from that, that's basically the entire build. Um, there is also the sacrifice command, but I wouldn't recommend using that unless you're seriously desperate and your teammates let you. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. If you want to see how this build interacts with the rest of my team, go check out those videos. They'll be out around the same time as this one. Um, but aside from that, um, like, subscribe, join Discord for the build maker links, and have a good day. See ya.